Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about or play games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished up Area 3. We fought Bulossus and yeah, we were pretty much almost done with this game. We got to get through Area 4 and then we'll be finished. Technically, there's like a mini Area 5, but that's that, that's just part of Area 4. Now, what we want to do is we want to head back up to the third floor, and we want to go to where we fought Bulossus, and there was a door that I don't think I showed on video that had thorns on it, and that's where we're going to appear next. Okay, back up on the balcony. I said that kind of weird, but... We open up this door. Grimini, what a calamity! The, ele the electricity has gone out. The lightning strike just must just now must have caused a blackout. I can't see anything in this blasted darkness. The ghosts will have a run of the place in the dark. Be careful, Luigi. So now we're during now we're in the middle of a blackout, and so this is actually a section of the game where there if you missed a couple of speedy spirits or golden mice, I think you can go back and remedy that and there are also a few speedy spirits that are only able to get now uh now that there's a blackout but as you can see the ghosts definitely have a run of the place they are just freaking out and no i don't think you get anything if you suck up all the ghosts i think more ghosts just spawn it's a lot easier to just try to muscle through this anyway like we do with all the hallways now, I'm going to test out that thing that I said about getting golden mice and speedy spirits that you couldn't get previously. I'm going to go I'm going to go to the tea room and see if I can remedy what I did with uh, the golden mice where I completely fumbled that. Although this will be tough because there're going to be ghosts constantly spawning in here. Nope, not on the ceiling. I don't want to be on the ceiling. Okay, I'm gonna get the ice thing. And yes, the, the golden mouse is there, so... I can fix this. Yes, okay, and we got a ruby. Nice, okay. So now, I think I pretty much got everything else that I can possibly get. And also, a quick note, the uh, speedy spirit in the breaker room can only be gotten before the blackout, I'm pretty sure. So now, there are a few things that we need to get. Uh, that we can only get during the blackout, like I said, so I'll meet you guys at those locations, and yeah, I'll see you guys then. Now all of the toads are completely gone as well, so I don't think you can save, and you also can't light up the room, so you're not even safe there. Oh god, oh god. Okay, so we're in the nursery. And there are ghosts swarming us everywhere, so I'm gonna... Oh, Jesus, this is hell. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to shake this crib. Speedy Spirit appears. 
You get a lot of money. Next. That sounded so ominous behind me. Okay. Oh, God, so many bats. No, 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 please, please, please. This is the most annoying part of the game. Because typically I just... Typically I don't uh, try to 100% this game. So typically whenever I do the blackout, I just do a thing, get a boss ghost, do another thing, and I'm, pr and I'm pretty much done with the blackout. But with this, I have to deal with so much at the same time that it is very annoying. So you want to open up this chest on the right to get a speedy spirit. And we get an emerald with that. I always get so scared whenever I see, whenever I try to suck on one of the things and it's not getting closer to me because I think that it's, because I always think that it's, something bad is happening where it gets stuck and then it's going to despawn and then I did a bunch of work for nothing. Anyways, next place. No, please get out of here. Ugh. This is the absolute worst. Just constant ghost spawning and I forget to mention this, but you've probably just noticed it yourself. Every single time a ghost spawns, Luigi freezes for a second to react to the, to the ghost. And so every single time a ghost spawns in a room, they, you tr they, tr they stop Luigi in his tracks. And so what that does is they keep spawning in ghosts, which frees Luigi so that the fir first ghosts that spawned can get to Luigi easier and you just get absolutely destroyed by a bunch of ghosts. I think that's... No, that's not it. I think that's it. So for this speedy spirit. I wanna shake this bench. And you get a ruby. It's ruby number eight. Okay, so now what you wanna do is we're going to have to head up back to the third floor because I think we've got pretty much everything that we can get during the blackout. Uh, that's optional. You know, we still need to do the important stuff, but in terms of optional side content that, you know, help us, helps us get a better rank at the end, I think we've done pretty much everything that we can do. So I'll meet you back upstairs at the balcony. Okay, back up at the balcony. I always forget that the uh, blackout is during area three, or, or that it's during area four. I did it again. Uh, that the I always forget that the blackout is during area four and not area three. Just because I always think of it when I think of area four, I think of the final boss fight. So for some reason, I keep thinking that it's just like a one boss fight area and that's it. Anyways, now we want to head through this hallway, which looks identical to the other hallway. And I think there's even a window over here. Yep. So we want to go in here and you hear a phone ringing. We answer it. Hello? Hello? May I ask who is speaking, please? It's Bowser. Eek! And they just hang up. You head on over here. Hello, may I ask who is speaking, please? L Luigi? This is just the test text that you get if you answer Luigi. Whoa, it's me, Toad. I don't know what I would have done if a ghost had answered. Anyway, we have a terrible problem. The lightning caused a blackout all over the house. What should we do? We're really, really afraid of the dark. Isn't there a way you could turn the lights back on? Huh? No, we don't know how to turn them on. We were hoping you'd know. Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, but now that I think about it, I do remember seeing a large breaker switch somewhere in the basement. 
So yeah, that's basically our explanation as to why the toads aren't here, and as well as what you're supposed to do next. Hello? Howdy. Hello? Oh, sorry to surprise you, my boy. It's me, Professor E. Gad. Sorry for disturbing you. I know I usually contact you by the Game Boy Horror, but I thought I'd try this phone since you were in the room. You know that all the ghosts avoid the light and hide in the dark, but listen now. There's one ghost who fled from the gallery who only hides in the darkest places. His name is Uncle Grimly. He, if he's on the loose, then now may be your only chance to get him. Why don't you try looking for him before you get those lights back on? Might be wise. He's old for a ghost, but it's only made him more cautious. I do know, though, that for some reason he tends to prefer rooms with mirrors. Uh-oh, the ghosts are starting to appear and approach your position. Be careful, Luigi. And so now we can't escape unless we fight all of the ghosts. So, you, you might be thinking, you may hear that and think, a room with mirrors, oh, I must go to the mirror room. Which, that would be the logical conclusion, but no, we actually have to go to the wardrobe room from area one. So I'm just going to fight all of these ghosts, and then I'll meet you guys back at the wardrobe room to fight Uncle Grimly. Okay, now we're in the the uh, wardrobe room. And this is Uncle Grimly. You want to wait for his heart to show? Then suck him up. It's a pretty simple boss. He's basically just like Neville, except he's in this room now. Okay, and that's all of Uncle Grimly. He'll give you a key. And this key is going to lead down to the... The Breaker Room. You might be saying, oh, but wasn't that already unlocked? Yes, but I guess the ghosts just found the key and decided to lock it, so... We got the key back, and now we're going to go unlock it and light this place up. Sounds like we're going to blow it up. No, we're just going to actually turn the lights on. Okay. Let's turn this thing back on. And with that, we have a boo in this room, but we've also got a key. That's going to lead over there. Now we've got to hunt for our 40th boo. Oh, that's a boo ball. Are you in here? out up there. There we go. Boo B Hatch. This guy is 200 HP. Come on. Ah. Okay, this is where the game gets extremely annoying. This is probably going to be my least favorite part. You know what? I'm just going to cover this in this episode. This episode is getting a little long, but I'm probably going to cut a bunch of stuff out, so I'll just do this to make it a little longer. This is the cellar. AKA my least favorite room in the entire game. So first what we want to do is I think there's something in here. I think there's a uh... Is it in here? No, that's There's a crate somewhere in here. No, no, no. Gosh dang it, you stupid... Ah! Well, I missed that speedy spirit. I'll let you guys know what I missed in there. I hope it wasn't a gem. I hope it was just money, but knowing my luck, it was probably like the last sapphire we needed or something like that. Okay, but here, let me explain why this room sucks. So, first let me just... These pink puncher things are now my second least ghost in the game. So first, let me get this key. Second, there's a boo in this room. And I'm going to wait to get that for a little bit. So, there's a boo in the hallway to the left here. Or I guess not. Okay, uh... Let me... This game is very frustrating and I 
haven't even explained why it's frustrating yet. Boo repeats. Okay. Please. Okay, so here's what happens. He goes out into the hall. You have a 50% chance of him either going to the left or to the right. If he goes to the left, then you're going to lose him for a little bit. If he goes to the right... Then he probably is going to go back to the left again. He's on 0 HP. And every time he goes into the hallway, you can't get him. I mean, you probably can. There we go. Fortieth boo. But yeah, if you ever if a boo ever travels into this room, which I have no idea where that boo went. I guess he went into another room to the left. Do I have to go up to the third floor? Okay, I guess we'll just forget about that boo for a little bit. But basically what's going to happen is every time you exit this room and come back, all of this dust will appear again, meaning you have to suck it all up. And even the quicker way of just flipping to the ceiling, you have to suck up a bunch of dust, find this, go back down, go through this door, and then the boo will suck. Well, not actually suck. The boo will not take any damage. He'll go back through, and he'll either appear in this room, where you'll be so obscured by the dust that you won't even be able to get him and he'll go back out to the hallway or he'll go into this room where you can fight him again and if he goes back out to the hallway which you probably will you have to go back through the door suck up all the dust go through the door fight the boo where he won't take any hp rinse and repeat and you pray that he doesn't go into any rooms on the left or else he will just not be able to be got for a little bit it is annoying as all heck and it just sucks Anyways, I guess I'll end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and hopefully take on a less stressful part of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.